my name is Tay. And this is T. And we're T, T and Tay. Tay. Sister, sister. Tay. All right. And of course, we are back with another video with our lovely mother. Beautiful mother. Hi, mom. Hi. T. Solomon Love in the building, y'all. So today, what are we coming to you all with? Uh, well, what topic are we coming to you guys with today? <laughs> I don't know. Like... What is the video? I don't think we can find the title for this video. I do. But we're going to be talking mess. Yes, we're going to be talking mess about the exploitation of fat people in America. Um, the correct phrase is obese. Fat people, because that's all, that's what we are. I mean, that's not what we are. You got me messed up. I'm, I'm not big fat. and fabulous. I'm not a fat person. But that's what it is on the outside world. Anybody that's not fat, when they look at somebody that's plus size, they look at somebody that's big, then somebody that's they're healthy, gonna they they're going to say fat. Huh. Fat. Well, they're gonna think fat. They're gonna think fat. I'm large and in charge. Yes, okay. I am. Hmm. I'm beautiful. I'm big. And this is also wet because we're doing too much. This is also gonna be a wet. What do they call it? A muck? Something. I don't know. We're gonna be eating some wings while we talk shit. Okay? <laughs> Simple as that. Okay? Right. So, I think the three topics, and this is this is serious, guys. Don't don't get us wrong. It's, we're being playful, but it is serious. I think three of the biggest topics when it comes to exploitation of larger size people is in the health industry, mm -hmm. in the clothing industry, and then of course. Don't say, don't be, don't say advertising, right? No. Oh. I didn't that. Um, what was it? I said health, food, <laughs> and uh, clothing. Health, food, and clothing. Health, the food, food industry, clothing. the clothing industry, and definitely the health industry. And advertising. <clears throat> Don't forget that. Well, it all comes, I mean, advertisement, that it all, it's all wrapped into all of that. Well, in advertisement, I feel like they're, and advertisement is advertisement, okay? Because yeah. in the advertisement industry, they're, we're, we're being praised, you That's know? That's true. We have plus size models. I'll say, I will say know, that. So, the you way know, I feel, we got to make our money too in that industry, so. There are, there are a lot of more plus size people being put in the forefront. I feel yeah. like body shaming and loving who you are has been more prominent in the last couple of years. I agree. But it's like, I feel like there's not enough. Mm -hmm. It's not enough. We gotta yeah. keep fighting. It's not enough. And I feel like, I feel like the plus size industry is just as lucrative as any other industry in the world. Yes, we people want to are, look good, we want to feel good, we want to eat and we want to dress nice. Exactly. So it's like, you already know if I'm a clothing if I'm a clothing industry and I know that there's a, a market for plus size women who want a certain whatever it is because Look it's so strong. limited because the product is so limited the supply the supply is high or what it said the demand is high yeah. but the supply is low. But yeah. wasn't you saying before like our clothes cost so much That's and exactly when you get right. to a certain size it's two or three dollars more. It's more than two or three dollars. So you're telling me my fabric is so much bigger exactly. I had to pay more. Let's start, we can start eating if y'all want, right? Exactly. So it's like oh, I can't go into the store and just pick up a pair of jeans because it doesn't work like that. I'm tall and I'm plus size. You feel me? So it's like I gotta go to the one to three plus size stores that has a clothes that I can actually fit. You're right. Uh, you're, like, you were also saying that um, the other day that like okay so i i will admit that there is a few plus size stores that you can actually physically go to i must admit there there are websites now where they carry plus size i think fashion nova fashion nova yeah. does plus size now they, they, they plus size sure they now plus like size. old navy plus, does plus size now sure certain size place certain places have plus size i mean it don't be true plus size we true. have junior plus size too but yeah, the fact yeah. that they get in there i yeah, mean basically. i guess you have to take it I mean, yeah, I guess we give them a little applause. You know, shout out to those people for coming with the plus size. Shout out to Fashion Are they Nova. charging more? I haven't went on their that, what? They're charging more? That's what it boils down to. Because I shop very avidly shop at OldNavy.com. I shop at the regular, I guess the women's size Old Navy, and I shop plus size Old Navy. When they have a sale, you be seeing all the commercials when it's like $15 and jeans and five dollar shorts and t-shirts that'd be for the regular women's size because when you go to the that's plus size good. that's it's 15 25 dollars for the same mm -hmm. shirt for the same shirt that i can get in the woman's size for seven or eight bucks on a sale day it's going to be 17.99 in the plus size section. so you tell me when it's on wow. sale oh no if it's on sale really don't go for the plus it, size it'd it be on it'd be on sale for the it'd plus cheaper, sizes but yeah, i thought so much more is just not, and it's, it's just not fair. Different. I feel like that kind of stuff is not fair. And it's like you, how could you say, how could you say, oh, let's well, let's boycott, you know, Old Navy's plus size or Torrid or Lane Bryant? What does All that right, leave right. you with? What does that leave you with? Where, where, where does that leave uh, you shop at? 
And don't even get me that's started true. on the wrong. Tori and Lane Bryant have the box that they're stylish. Okay, so let's go with Tori and Lane Bryant. Bryant does Why is it so expensive? $65, easy. Why am I paying so $98 for a pair of jeans? Yeah. It really do look like that. And you get the Tory, actual Tory brand jeans, he might say, I don't know, $30 and be 52 instead of 75 but, no. That's still too much. That's well, still too much. Not I mean, I'm, a, I'm scared to even, like, really order from, like, Fashion thing. Nova. I would never shop at Fashion Nova. Because would the clothes even fit me? That's what my thing. That's why I didn't shop at Fashion Nova. Us That's big it. girls, those big girls, and I'm not even trying to talk mess, big girls... I feel like when you shop at Fashion Nova, the big girls trying to dress like the skinny girls. And if yeah. you got a, a gut like me, I'm not getting ready to wear a, uh, uh, what do they call them? A, um, a crop top. A crop top. I might want to wear one, but I'm not going to play myself. Me personally, and, and shout out to the big girls who got the confidence <laughs> to put on a crop top, honey. You do you, honey. Because I'm not wearing a crop top. You ain't about to catch me in no crop top. Not me. Not, not a crop top with no skin. I might have a crop top and a cute tank top. Just roll the whole like shirt, honey. Or something. Mm. Mm. But yeah. don't even get me started. That's what I was saying about the mall. First of all, Arden Mall is the biggest mall that we have here in Sacramento in our area, right? You walk into one side of the mall, one end of the mall, you got Wayne Bryant. First couple stores you walk in, boom, Wayne Bryant right there. You feel <laughs> me? You go, to, <coughs> you go to the other end of the mall, boom, right at the end of the mall, you got tour it. There's no plus size stores in the middle. And the only other plus size store that's in there is across from the damn food court. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute, what? So how many plus oh, size stores is it? Just two? In the mall that I know of two, well I guess you can I guess you can include Forever Twenty One, because they got their little plus size section, but again, that's, that's right. That's right upstairs above the food court. Like, stop playing me. Mm -hmm. So you feel like if I walk myself all the way to the other end of the mall to shop at Tori, then maybe I might need a snack. <laughs> <laughs> and it's right next to Cinnabon. I'm hungry. And it's right next to Cinnabon. So let me go into let me go into Tori. And we have a bad day. She's about that right, not, so you tell me you're doing purpose. This, 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 this is my theory. This is my theory. I go on the tour. You feel me? I'm trying clothes on. Ain't nothing fit it right. So my upsetness, I'm going to be like, you know what? This is some BS. I'm not really having a good day. What is that beautiful <laughs> sensation of cinnamon that I smell? <laughs> then you start eating your emotions <laughs> away. <laughs> I'm going to eat my emotions away. I want a cinnamon. And that's what brings me to the food portion, okay? Because I can probably go pick up a cinnamon for what, $5? I, I, mean, I, don't I, I don't even eat cinnabons. Cinnabons are hella nasty. But let's just pretend. Let's, let's pretend we do. And right. cinnabons could be anywhere between what? I don't eat cinnabon. That's three the crazy five, part. They probably expect us to eat cinnabon. I don't exactly. eat cinnabon. Right. Three three eat cinnabon. Let's say a cinnabon is three to five dollars. Okay. I'm gonna go to Cinnabon to get a Cinnabon for three to five dollars, or I can walk all the way around the corner from Cinnabon and go get a nice, healthy, you know. Uh, dark leaded salad or Subway <laughs> for eight to nine dollars. You got me messed up. I'm gonna take five dollars for the cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you ain't never doing it. it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's true. true. And I mean, no. I mean, as far as the food industry, I mean, not the food industry, but as far as food, it's just like it's like you. I'm big, and you just associate food with big. But yeah. believe it or not. A lot of big people that I know don't even eat that much. Exactly. Don't even eat that much. Don't even like, eat that much. It's like, not like they're throwing well, down a whole bunch of food and stuff. No. I'm going to say the plus size people that I know don't eat that much, like, all the time. The, the plus size people think we do. Yeah, yeah the plus size people that I know, they eat, we, we might eat, like, two to three, two, maybe two solid, one solid giant meal. Don't get me wrong, that meal gonna be giant. It's gonna be giant. <laughs> that might be the lunch. only meal I ever ate that I ate all day, but it's the biggest meal. And I'm gonna mess it up. can't jump on of that. And I believe it, maybe a lot of big people have slow metabolism. Yeah. And like, when we eat, we're not burning it off as fast as somebody that has a fast metabolism that's all thin. They're probably mm -hmm. the same amount as us, or even more. Or even more. They're just burning that shit off. I know a lot of thin people who eat way more than I do. I'll be surprised, because I'll be thinking it'd be the opposite. Nah. I'll be, seeing, I'll be thinking it'd be the opposite, like, they don't eat that much. But I'll be kicking it with skinny people, I'll be like, they pin it down. Same like, they can pin that down. shit down, like, for real. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, it's crazy. Just assume, when you see a big person, that they just... Eating burgers and pizza and status. Some probably yeah. do, some yeah, probably do, eat. but like your everyday everybody, people yeah. don't eat like that. And everybody's not gonna be thin. Everybody, That's true. Everybody's not gonna be thin. You don't even have a thin physique. If you get too thin, you start looking weird. You know, crazy. Yeah, your chest true. cavity sticking all out. And that's the thing with me. I, I came to the conclusion that I don't want to be skinny. I actually like being big and fabulous. Right. It's just certain areas of my body that I don't. Eat. I want to work on, or certain things I don't want to be there, like fat right. stuff, but. 
I never wanted to be like skinny. Yeah. And I'm not like fat shaming, but I actually like being big and fabulous, large and in charge. You're having a little something, something to grab on, honey. Yeah. Oh, hey, yes. Mm. So, mm. I think I think it's good. I think it all depends on how you feel about yourself too. Yeah. Society can't tell you, oh, you're not happy because you're that size. Um, but you know, I'm happy with myself. They'll try. Society will try because really, mm-hmm. it's a lot of ha- it's a lot of fat, happy people in the world. But if, if through the eyes of society, you can't really be fat and happy. Because mm-hmm. then it's like, well, where are the health risks? First of all, I don't worry about my health risks. Don't worry about me and my health. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't have diabetes. I I don't have high blood pressure. Like no, I don't have any of that. But then I'm, that, I'm healthy. I'm fine. But then <clears throat> that's how this circle goes back into the health realm. Mm-hmm. It's like. I know a lot of plus size people who don't go to the doctor. Me, as a plus size person myself, I didn't go to the doctor. Why? Because I came in here for headaches. Not to be told that I may be pre diabetic. Like, I didn't ask you to draw my blood. I asked you to talk to me about my headaches. <laughs> they you do that. Saying? Every person I know that's plus size has said that. Like, they hate going to the doctor because of this and that. And they try to do that with my son, too. Like, mm-hmm. no. I went to the doctor. I went to the doctor because I was having a, a bad time. Like, I was having headaches or whatever. And the first thing my doctor said to me was, uh, drinking soda can cause a lot of headaches. First of all, I don't even drink soda. You just, just drinking soda, okay. So I was just like, okay. <laughs> what, what are the other reasons why I might be having these bad headaches? <laughs> just assume you're drinking soda. She's like, yeah, the caffeine intake. I'm like, uh, the yeah. caffeine intake that you don't take because you um, don't drink soda. Okay, okay. Like, okay. what a solution. <laughs> and you know what? Okay, so I don't know if this is still, it's still considered like the, would you say the health industry? Mm-hmm. So let's get into the drug industry. <laughs> it's like don't even get me started. Wow. <laughs> this is why this is this thought right here is why I even came up with the idea that fat people are being exploited in America. First of all, let's go back to society. Remember, you can't be fat and happy. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's this idea it that to be. fat people are either A unhappy or A unhealthy. And if they are happy, secretly they're not really happy because they really, really want to be skinny. Then you have all of these Fat people who go to Hollywood and get slim. It makes sense because you can afford to. That's true. Okay. That's true. So then you have people who are really actually struggling on the day to day basis to lose weight. Okay. You got people who try fat diets. They gain the weight. They lose the weight. They gain the weight. They lose the weight. They lose the weight. They get happy. They feel better about themselves. Then they start gaining all the weight back, and then they go back into that circle of depression. So So let's say, like food. Let's say that person decides, you know what? I'm going to take, instead of the natural route, maybe I suck at dieting. Maybe I suck at being consistent. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and go to the weight loss clinic. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, weight loss pills. Then you go to the clinic. When I went to the weight loss clinic, I thought the weight loss clinic was actually going to be a place that was going to help me, give me options. As soon as I told him what my issues were as far as losing weight, he instantly put the pills on the counter. Like this. So, do we want to get a backstory about about what we're talking about? Yeah. As far as, okay. So, me and my sister went to a weight loss clinic. Mm. And um, we heard about some pills that help you lose weight. Um, we ha- sampled the pills, and the pills that we sampled worked. So we decided to find a clinic that specializes in, like, we thought... Weight weight losing loss. weight. Yeah. Weight loss. Because, mind you, it's a weight loss clinic. So I'm thinking I was going to go in there. I expected to see, like, a gym or whatever. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of things that I expected to see. Yeah. But it was really just a clinic. He never gave me any other options besides he the pills. He never asked, like, yeah. You know, he yeah, never, he never asked me. Anything. Nah, he never even asked me what other, uh, well, he asked me what other things that I tried yeah. as, as the medicine would affect me if I was still taking those things. But he That's never, why now I look back, like, all that stuff that they had in there was for show. It was that wasn't no a show. weight loss clinic. That was an office. That okay? was an office. That, that was an office. office. Yes, yes it was a setup. It was exactly a whole setup. Because right. the little stuff they had on the, uh, on the show, that stuff, that they stuff. never offered. For us to buy any of that stuff, no. they didn't even have any programs that no. could do this stuff. It was just it's like a, basically just to make it, was it a, seem like it was a fancy tra- trap house. If you ask it me, really was. It was a storefront trap house because when I went in there, it he instantly he up. instantly dealt me the pills. Okay, basically he did. I paid my money and I left. Okay, mm-hmm. simple as that. So for four weeks of these uh, of this weight loss pill, for four weeks you spent a hundred dollars. Okay, so let me. Four weeks, a hundred dollars. Yep. Okay. That's a month. You take thing. the pills. Uh, uh, 
Four, you don't even get a whole month. Where you get twenty eight pills? You really? Don't. Yeah, I, that's what what you call something. Twenty eight pills. One day, that's I didn't even count the pills. Dead, they didn't like, even give us a whole thirty month, uh, like yeah. thirty day supply. So it was a twenty eight day supply for a hundred dollars. Oh, like one twenty eight pills. You gave me twenty eight pills. Mm -hmm. Okay, what if after a month those pills don't work? I'm gonna have to go back and get another set of four weeks for another one hundred dollars. Yep. Six months down the line, I've lost. I don't know, 20, 25 maybe pounds, 20 pounds, maybe 30, but I'm $600 in the hole. Mm -hmm. But because I want to lose weight, because maybe these pills are, are actually showing me some results, maybe some results I hadn't had in mm -hmm. X, X amount of times of trying to lose weight, mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going back. And that's how it's, it, it, it begins to be an exploitation. After a while, you're $1,000 later, and you're still X amount of pounds okay, overweight. Yeah. No, 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 but how about this? You actually do it six months, you see the results, you stop taking it, and you gain the weight back. And you gain, and you gain the, the weight back. Now you're worried about not having a pill. Nah. Addiction. So it sounds Addiction. like uh, I'm an addict and I just, I keep going to my I drug dealer. I keep going back to the drug dealer. And you're supposed to be a doctor. Right. But and then, but then here you go, here you go with the things. health part again. It's a health risk to be overweight. So yeah. even if I do decide, disease. even if I do decide, you know, let me go over, let me go to my doctor. Maybe let, maybe there's something wrong with me psych psychologically. Mm -hmm. We're still back to the same thing. You're gonna pay X amount of dollars for that for that uh, appointment to the doctor. Care. You're gonna spend X amount of time with the doctor. He might prescribe you some more weight loss pills. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. it's just a daily cycle. It's just a daily cycle. What if I go as far as to say I want to do weight loss surgery? Then you're you're in the you're in the hole even more. So now you gotta try it. You gotta show the history. Don't forget about Soda Bello. What's that? You just go and get you like a little quick. Uh, that's my plan. Like <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it real. I mean, hey. you're against like plastic surgery. I'm not. Um, and it's not to like <laughs> fit in with society. But it's when not. I start losing weight and not ex when I'm exercising, lose, yeah, in this certain areas that I do right. want to lose. When when it comes to the time and I have my money saved up for it, I am gonna get my stomach done. I, I am gonna get that's my breast done. I, I think that's the hard thing after you have a baby. I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still be plus size. How about that? Time. I'm gonna still be plus size. Yeah. You know what I realized? I can lose as much as weight as I want to lose. It does not matter mm -hmm. based on the way I'm structured and my family background. I'm always gonna be considered plus size. Pretty I have a problem with that, I mean, but yeah. I'm okay. I want to be happy. Yeah, I want to be happy with the way I, I want to look. Good. Maybe I want to be a certain size, a certain dress size. When I get down to my dress size and I get whatever plastic surgery I want to get, I'm gonna be happy. I don't have. Okay. I don't what, be what's skinny. your size? Me and she did. Me and she just said what size you want to look good. What you What do you think your okay. ideal size is? I, okay, right now my short term goal is to be a size 16, but I know I will look good at a size 12 or 14. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm See, thinking me, for me like a size 16. My goal is a size six. I want a solid sixteen, tipping into a fourteen. Yeah, yeah. I think but 16 see, too. and that's not considered. That's still considered plus that's size. Plus believe size. it or not, I so, will never fit the charge. I first of all, I yeah, never. never. I will never fit the charge. When they give me those charts, they tell me first of all, I'm as a woman, my my size is not even, not even my height is not even on there. Your size but the part. So I'll even take the men's size. But to me, even the men's size is, is not really that. How as if I was a six three. It was six foot, or was it six foot three inch tall man? Yeah. I should be between, I think like one seventy five and one ninety five. Oh yeah, I think that's yeah. crazy. I think it's one eighty or one ninety five. So I'm like, I'm thinking, is that the way I want to be? No, I don't, no, don't want to be that small. My smallest way, I want to be a solid two thirty. I don't know if I told you, but I told the doctor that gave me the weight loss pills. He looked at the chart to see where I was as far as my body index or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I told him I wanted to be a hundred and ninety pounds. And then he went to the chart at me being 190 pounds based on my high and age or whatever, and I would be considered out of the red zone. Yeah, I would be out of the morbid obese because I guess you know I'm considered morbid obese. Mm -hmm. I would be out of that range, which mm -hmm. is cool. Cause that's actually the size I want to be oh. as far as weight. Yeah, <clears throat> but I don't have to go by weight anymore. I'm just gonna go by my dress size. Like when yeah, it comes to when it comes to confidence and loving yourself, like at the end of the day. <clears throat> Excuse me. And at the end of the day, none of this is about. Yeah, it comes from within. I love myself the way I am because I love myself. Trishina is the bomb, honey. Yes. I wouldn't care if I was morbidly obese, six hundred pound life, or if I was skinny as a twig. Trishina is great. Trishina is awesome. That's why I'm able to love myself at any size. That's true. Same here. Go. We just talk your mess. Okay. Here we okay. Go. okay. Lane Bryant, Tori, Ashley up. Stewart, Old oh, Navy. Yeah. Shout out to y'all for having me. Dress barn. Dress barn. 
Hold on. What's going on? <laughs> dress, dress barn. barn. <laughs> Who shops there? I All mean, right. shout out to Dress Barn, too. Dress cause... Barn, Catherine's. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Avenue. I mean, I, I get some love to Avenue. That's not, you know. Avenue. Don't get me wrong. Shout out to y'all. We appreciate y'all. <laughs> but can we consider some of the pricing that y'all got going on? And don't even, and then the credit cards. I'm not even going to go down the credit card route. But I'm 30, just saying. 27 dollars for a late fee, a late payment charge? No, not even twenty seven. Like thirty eight. Some is twenty seven. Some is twenty eight. I mean, oh, these in, these places do be having their sales and they do all they their do, credit cards. But you guys are still expensive. You guys are still expensive, and I'm just saying. Late like time? as a woman, as a woman <laughs> of particular think? size and and particular shape and particular height. I mean, it's not easy for me to go certain. It's not. I can't go into any storefront hey, and get clothes. Okay, that is true. I can't, not, I can't go to a regular there. store and just buy clothes. And I think that's one of the things I told myself. I want to get down to a size where I can shop anywhere I want to, anywhere Hello. I go. That's Whether it's I'm, online or I me just really just walking straight into the store and just being and able to just get the size. I'm just that's grabbing hard. sizes and putting them on. Ooh, so okay. Yeah. But. Shout out to you industries out there who are supporting plus size women. Shout out to all of the plus size women that's out there doing their thing. One of my favorite, um, one of my favorite people right now. I don't know her name is Danielle something, the one from uh, the Chocolate Girl from Orange Is the New Black. I think she's so. Oh, beautiful. that's my girl. Like I love her. And I think she's so. Beautiful. I like to look on TV and see somebody looks like me, it and it's just exactly. something about her. I just be like, shout out to her. I see you. I see you, chocolate girl. Yeah. But whatever her name is, she, you know, out there doing the thing, all the plus size girls in the world that's holding it down for us, all of you out there who love yourself and who... For real. Who put beauty out there on a day-to-day basis, okay? And for mm-hmm. those of you who aren't really sure if you love yourself, F society, man. You are beautiful. You're beautiful. You with all your rose and all your splendor, all your curves, honey. Oh, okay. You look good, honey. Yes, and you flaunt that. All you crop top wearing plus size girls out there, you do your damn thing, honey. Represent for the ones who can't turn once wear them, but you okay. Know. okay. I, yeah. live, I live vicariously through you. So love yourself, always be yourself, be you, and stay amazing, ladies and gentlemen. This is another installment from Team Tay Forever with our beautiful mom, of course. <laughs> We are out, Thanks ladies for and gentlemen. And get you some of these wings from Winco, honey. <laughs> okay, Winco wings. <laughs>